Taurus, hi, my name is Anya Briggs. If you're new here, I'm here to deliver your energy reading for the week of August 10th to August 17th, 2019. This is not necessarily dependent on these dates, but it is the focus of energy for the time that I'm focusing on right now that has this uh, information around it. So if you're watching this a year from now, it may apply to you as well. Obviously, this is a general reading. It is for entertainment purposes only. There's a lot of legalities coming up in this reading, so maybe that's why I'm feeling a need to bring that up. Um, this also would include uh, not only Sun Taurus, but also Moon Rising, Jupiter I include, as well as Venus and Mars. Of course, if you're cross-watching, welcome as well. Feel free to uh, pay attention to any other signs that I might, might mention. You might want to check out those readings as well. If not this week, then in the future as well, if I don't apply it to this one. But I think I will. Um, there were several readings that were coming up with the theme of this week, which is, it sounds kind of intimidating, but it's actually a good sign. The theme of the week is excellence breeds contempt, comma, move on. So, um, for the first time ever, my guides have included some astrological projections um, about the energies that may or may not have to do with this, but it might be something to pay attention to, because if they say something, they mean it, especially if it pertains to these readings. Um, it's bringing up the quincunx again that seems to be happening um, in the Taurus chart. So if you have Taurus in your chart, um, it would pertain to that, or if you are Sun Taurus, it would apply to the energy around Sun Taurus. But um, they're saying that there's lots of short fire bursts of energy continuing with the bull this week, the Taurus bull, um, and don't let the turkeys get you down. So I immediately saw, and the reason I mentioned the quincunx is, um, there's something like Mars conjunct or quincunx. I am not an astrologer, ladies and gentlemen, but I, they just tell me tons of astrological information. So I don't know what this means exactly for your sign, but you might want to check out Aries as well as what were the other ones mentioned for this conjunction or quincunx. Um, I think that's it. There were some others. Sorry. So you might want to check out Aries and you might want to check out Gemini. That was the other one. If you want more information on that, this kept coming up repeatedly with your three signs. Um, and that something is happening for them through May of 2020. So this may be a long term reading as well as far into May 2020 pertaining to your situation as well. May not, but actually I'm feeling like some things are ending right now for you. And I'm sorry to be rambling so much, but the, this quincunx thing keeps following me around. Um, so if that applies to you, leave a, leave a comment in the comment section below. If not, it's totally fine, I totally get it. But um, what I was getting was, with the theme of this week, excellence breeds contempt, comma, move on, is obviously um, jealousy might have something to do with that. I was picking up in the office specifically, if you work in an office environment, where you have to perform a lot. Really, I was getting, especially if you're in administration or in an administrative uh, job or support group, administrative support task force, what have you, uh, you're doing a very good job and you are getting a lot of um, views from higher ups that will be received very well, very warmly. And just take the I'm getting there maybe an overtly contemptuous coworker who takes it out on you uh, openly. And so if that happens, just take it with a grain of salt, just take it in stride. Um, otherwise, Taurus is having a really good week, but if you have overt jealousy directed at you, like really petty commentary, either behind your back or in front, and you will find out this week, you will either find out something that's been a long term behind your back type of thing, or you may just hear it directly straight from the horse, so to speak. And I'm getting that um, I'm being shown a person. How do I put this mildly? This I'm being asked to say this politely, but 
this person who might be overtly jealous of you has a horse face. I hate to say it because it implies so many things about people who look like you know, whenever they say that person has a horse face it's always universally ugly which is kind of sad because horses are beautiful but hopefully you know what I mean but if this applies to you you may have the person in mind if they don't overtly come up to you you may know who I'm talking about without even saying a word. I could be way off the mark here, but there's something about, God, I don't know how else to say this without being impolite. Uh, there's something about a person with a horse face who is coming for your career, okay? But you're just gonna, you know, leave them in the dust and you don't have to worry about that. That's not gonna be your problem, but hopefully, please forgive me, I hope I'm not offending anyone. That's the way my guides were phrasing it. It might have something to do, oh God, I can't believe I'm saying this. This is really impolite. Okay, I've said other rude things and I swear a lot in some of my other videos, but this just seems mean, but I guess the person kind of deserves it, if anybody would deserve it, because I'm getting they're really mean. They're like, they are, the polite way to say it is they're not tending to their inner child. This is just a really hard reading to do. <laughs> Cause I'm walking on eggshells with this one, okay? But that they're coming for your career. So they've been eyeing your position for a while, but you're gonna be, for the one, there's one person here who's watching this that I'm really, I don't know who you are specifically, but I'm really honing in on your specific energy. Uh, the this jealousy will be a good sign because it will mean that you're moving on shortly moving up it's a vertical move it's a good move and that your career you will probably take a leap in a position meaning you might even skip over a title or um, an office hierarchy you might go up one or two notches above what you're used to so pay attention to that because that means that you're doing a really good job. Now mostly, and I understand this as well, if you're a sensitive empath, you don't wanna hurt people's feelings and jealousy feels especially hard to deal with. But that just means that you are a contender, especially this week. The energy around Taurus this week, and I'm being shown the bull in an arena, like um, the Colosseum at Rome, and it's a representation of the bull, Taurus, fighting a horse with a chariot and you're just slaying them. Like you just cut them down. So there may be something related to the travel industry because I'm getting this person would be in America and um, at the very least North America, if not the United States. Uh, and they would be traveling for this position potentially. So there may be travel involved or you may be involved with travel sales but either way, the perks will be very good. So I really must be honing in on one or a handful of people. If you're in anything related to travel, this could also extend to the airline industry. I'm feeling like if you're in corporate, that would apply. Um, and there would be elements of, ooh, yeah, there would be elements of contempt in this new position as well. But like I said, it's a sign that you're on the move. I mean, whomever you are, if this is an amalgam of people or whatever, the energy of Taurus this week is you can't catch me, you can't stop me, and your words can't hurt me. So I feel like Taurus might even be vaguely aware of who this is or where the energies are directed from in that regard. If it's not an individual person, it's a department that might be pitted against your department. It might be like a triangulation thing that the CEO is doing to make you guys perform at your best. It's an old fashioned tactic, but it tends to work. So there may be the element of competition amongst other coworkers in this kind of Coliseum gladiatorial kind of office environment. I don't, I'm, I'm really not enjoying that, but for Taurus, if you enjoy competition, if you really like that, if you're less a Ferdinand the Bull sitting under a tree and enjoying the sensual appetites of the world, and you're more in line with the Taurus, the Bull, the Fighter, if you have that kind of inclination towards using that Taurus stubbornness to fight another day, you know, that kind of 
element of, of that, that never say die thing, this could be very, very good for you. I'm feeling the Ferdinand the Bulls of the world probably are gonna sit this one out. This week is probably gonna be real quiet for them. But for the ones who identify as a Taurus, the flaring nostril bull, who's ready to head on confront with using their you know stubborn will to get what they want, this will be a very successful week for you. And I'm getting even into the month, going into well into September, into the second week of September. There's really going to be this, um, there may be healthy competition as well. So don't think that this is all about, you know, people giving you the stink eye. Um, some of this could be with a lot of good sport, sportsmanship, and I'm hearing the phrase, let the best man win. Now this feels like masculine energy, but it could apply to women too, obviously. Um, Taurus is ruled by Venus, they're saying, so there's a feminine quality to all Tauruses as well, but, um, really let them be the best man win feels like an element for about 25 to 30 percent of you that the environment is one of healthy competition so good for that because you will do well even if you don't win the position you will have a very good sportsmanship like quality about you that will keep you in the eye of employers so don't give up taurus plays the long the long game they don't they aren't here, they're marathon runners, they're triathletes, they are not sprinters. Taurus uh, plots to the nth degree in a good way. They plot out their work uh, and career aspirations like no other. And we can all take a cue from Taurus in their patience. And the, I mean, they're nothing if not patient. I think they're the most patient sign in the Zodiac, I would have to say. And uh, we can all take cues from Taurus in that regard. So they can they can wait. They'll wait for years if necessary to get the job that they want. But they I've never known a Taurus to live comfortably with a position that they hated. They will craft their careers just so they can get that one corner office and have that job exactly the way as they imagine. If they don't get it, they would rather leave than admit to uh, less than conditions. They love luxury and opulence and luxuriousness. And if they can get the corner office, they're gonna do anything in their power to get it. They will even sacrifice a lunch, which is unheard of for Taurus because they really enjoy their lunch hour. So um, for whatever reason, for beautification, you know, you're ruled by Taurus, excuse me, Venus. So of course, um, beauty, relaxation, enjoying the good things in life, uh, wine women's song that kind of thing but of course food is always part of it and I mean that in a great way um, Taurus must have their creature comforts in order to thrive so they will do what is necessary and they can play that long game like nobody's business so this is a week for Taurus energy uh, and patience and stubbornness to be highlighted at, at its best uh, with excellence so um, don't worry about, you know, don't let the turkeys get you down. You'll be fine. Um, you'll excel. And I really feel positive for at least several of you. This month is an excellent month for you for employment if you're looking for work. And um, even if you don't get the gig right away, you will network or meet with some employers who eventually will hire you for at least one or two of you. And I'm also getting that if you're writing Taurus, this will be a good year for you as well. So keep me posted right in the comment section below. If this applies to you, I would love to hear confirmations or any more information about that. It's so intriguing. I love hearing about this kind of stuff. Um, that's about it. Love is short and sweet and to the point this week. I don't know what that means. It may have some meaning for you. And don't forget to get uh, check out the other signs that I mentioned and I'll see you soon. Take care.